Hello Simmers, welcome or welcome back to Satch on Sims. Today we're doing the 100 baby challenge, but it is gonna be with the deadly toddlers mod installed. Right, that's death, that's death, 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 death. It's all death. I'm sure most of you already know what the 100 baby challenge is, but if you don't know what it is, basically you've got to create 100 babies using one matriarch in The Sims 4. But I just thought we'd spice it up a bit with the deadly toddlers mod, which if you don't know what that is, it basically is what it says on the tin. It turns your toddlers into to Chucky. So this is our sim. Her name is Shanice Shanice. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? Her life aspiration is to be a super parent. I thought it was fitting. She's also a hot-headed sim. Yeah. She's angry very easily. She's also very erratic. <laughs> and she's also a goofball. Sounds a bit like me. And if you're wondering why her face looks a little bit strange, it is because we have the Extreme Sliders mod installed, which means you can extremely warp her face to look absolutely mental. <laughs> But um, we're, we're just gonna make her look at least a little bit normal. As you can see, Shanice Shanice's everyday outfit, out shit, oh. <laughs> her out shit. As you can see, Shanice Shanice's everyday outfit is absolutely stunning. She's got the most beautiful MAC sperm eyeliner on her face. As you can see, we've gone for a little bit of a chavvy look. If you're not British, I'm very, very sorry. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Just search chav in Google Images or something. Anyway, this is her. Let's get going. Guys, whilst we're loading, there's this huge bumblebee in front of my window and it keeps smacking itself into the window. I think it's a queen bee because it's absolutely huge. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it, but it's just going bzzz, bzzz. What world should we start in? I am feeling Sam my Shuno. It just feels like the right place. We start in an apartment. We've also got the cheap ones. This one here, cheapest chips, 400 simoleons a week. Plus it's got gremlins, which is absolutely exciting. My game has been taking a very, very long time to load and I have a feeling it might crash because I have so many broken parts in my game. <laughs> it's just gonna kaboom. Oh, we didn't crash, we didn't crash. All right, Shanice, it's time to get going. She's looking around like, oh my God, Fuck where this, the hell are you me? Obviously, first things first is we've got to get a job. Obviously, if you want to have babies, we've got to have at least a little bit of money. I don't feel like we're pretty enough to find a sugar daddy at this stage. Now you can fight me on this, but I do feel like she'd make an excellent social media intern. So we're going to be giving that one a go. But of course, first things first is we have to find a man to woohoo with and create the baby. So what I'm thinking get is we head down to the bar. It's, <laughs> it's half eight in the morning on a Sunday and we're going down to the bar to pick someone up. Only in The Sims. Only in The Sims. The Stargazer Lounge has a romantic aura, which means we can get romantic. So um, as you can see, this bar is absolutely dead and that's probably because it's eight o'clock on a Sunday morning. I can only blame myself. Oh, we have um, a... Oh, <laughs> guys, I've got to pause. Do you know what? This, um, this extreme sliders mod basically alters every single Townie and gives them the most extreme warped look. So trying to find an absolutely beautiful, handsome patriarch is going to be extremely difficult. We've got, um, oh my gosh, we've got some very, very strange looking people here. This is not looking well to, 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 um, so far. Oh, our first man has walked in. Who is it? Let's pause. Oh my God. It's Mortimer Goth with um, <laughs> a strange face. I feel like he's always the most difficult one to try and pick up though. All right, we've got it. Pause. We've got another man here. Who is this? He's so flat. I can't even see his face. His name is Jacques um, Villarreal. He's an elder. I do feel like his sperm count is probably very, very low and he wouldn't be ideal for us. Who's our next man? We have got Simonian, Simeon, Silver Sweater. Guys, imagine if your surname was Silver Sweater. All right, he is basically the only semi-normal looking adult male here. So we're just gonna have to flirt with him. Tell a joke about ducks. Shanice Shanice, you do know how to woo a man. Although he's feeling very angry, which is gonna make it very difficult to do some flirting. All right, so um, that guy we were talking to is just gone. I don't know where he's gone, but um, <laughs> we're back to square one. Oh, we've got our old men. All right, we've got another man, Jay Hunt. Huntington, but we're gonna try our best to flirt with him. He looks like a Tory, so I've asked him his career and he's a quality assurance officer. Is that like a wealthy career? Because we need a sugar daddy because we do not have enough money right now to establish having children. All right, we're having a flirty yet awkward encounter, so I don't know what that means. He is getting a little bit flirty with us. This summer holiday, she's kind of in the way. I just want her to go away. Fuck off. 
Is that like an action? That oh, unless we do extreme violence things to her, we could just um, bash her head in with an axe. Should we do it? Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. 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 I did it. There's a summer holiday. She's um she's gone. Everybody's running. My boyfriend's staying though. It's worked. He's a little bit upset, but we're all good. I think this location's not doing us any good. So I'm gonna ask him on a date and see if he wants to go somewhere else because clearly I've missed the mark here. All right, Jay Huntington's ran off, which is um a very poor start to this challenge. I think we should just um escape this lot and go somewhere else and pretend all of that didn't happen and um start again from square one. In fact, I think we're just just gonna have to leave this entire neighborhood and go somewhere else where nobody knows us. Let's hang out at the Pepperstone Park. All right, well, as you can see, it's very dark and dreary in this park. And um, my date hasn't turned up, which is uh, not very good. I wonder why. I wonder why he's not here. So uh, we're here with Shanice Shanice in the park. She's been stood up on a date and um, she's grilling hot dogs in the rain. Right, well, we're eating sausages in a park in the rain in a gloomy day. Shanice Shanice has got her big Botox lips and her scouse brows. <laughs> this is why I love The Sims. She's feeling, oh, this man has come to sit next to us. Oh look, it's um, Jacques Villarreal again. The flat play, flat, fl flat, 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 fat, um, flat face. He's come and got his umbrella, but it's turned upside down. And um, you can see he's sharing his sausages with us guys. I think this is the only guy that's ever gonna be into us. Should we just try and make a flirtatious joke as we are feeling a little playful? Why is she feeling playful? Because she's a murderer from killing a sim. Well, that's very lovely of you, Shanice Shanice. This other guy's run over a cop. <laughs> Oh my God, has he come to arrest us? What is going on? Can we just, she's just sitting there pretending the cop isn't here. She's like, oh, sorry, I've got to go. Where is she? She's going to the toilet. She's like, oh, sorry, I need to, I need to spend a penny. I can't um, be arrested right now. Perfect escape mechanism. No one's gonna know. Although we, there are some other men here. We have got Brent Hecking, who looks um, lovely. Let's just have a flirt with him and see what's gonna happen. Shanice, oh my God, Shanice, why have you taken your clothes off? It's <laughs> Guys, I just swear to God I didn't do that. She just did that by herself. Maybe she'll pick the guys up quicker this way. Who knows? Right, thank God she's put her clothes back on. This guy we're trying to flirt with is very tense. Um, guys, this isn't working. This old man, bless him. He's sitting with us. Well, no, now he's not. He's gonna go back to his hot dogs. The police that were arresting us before are now dancing in the rain. What the hell are they doing? Let's uh, flirt with Reginald, this cop. Let's see if he wants to do anything with us. So I'm just spamming loads of flirty interactions and she's embarrassed because um, she's feeling a bit awkward, which is not very good. So um, I think we're just, we're so desperate. We're gonna have to flirt with this other man who seems to be doing a mating call behind us. And now he needs a toilet. That's a perfect time for him to go away just as we are about to flirt. I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> It's not like I'm a professional Simmer Sims player. <laughs> not like I do this as a living or anything. Right, I'm gonna go to one more place, which is gonna be Windenburg. And I am praying, fingers crossed. I wonder if we go to the gym. We might find some hunks in the gym. So let's get down to the gym. All right, so it seems there is an absolute fitty here. Can we pause? Right, I say he... <laughs> I say he's a fitty. Well, as you can see, he does have very, very strange eyes. However, he has a lovely body now. In The Sims 4, we do have the ability to put bags over people's heads. Now, what I'm thinking is, if we just put a bag over the head and just look at the body, do you know what I'm saying? So um, let's just see if we can make our first baby with him. Let's work out with him first. We're just on the treadmill next to him, trying to be cool. Um, she hasn't actually spoken to him yet. We're asking him to mentor us. And um, we're just trying to flirt with him and she's feeling a little bit angry from something. I'm not sure why, but we just found out Marcus is single. So maybe Shanice Shanice does have a match. It seems he wants nothing to do with us, probably because we're extremely extremely angry, um, which is not very good. I just think we need to go home right now and um, do you know what I mean? You gotta pick your battles. You gotta pick your battles. Today was not a very good day. I am beat 
and the game is crashing or it's taking an extremely long time to load. Right, finally we're home. We're smelly, we're tired. So I think I'm just gonna cook. Guys, I always do this with The Sims. I cook a huge party size serving of garden salad and I just make them eat it for every single meal. Oh my God, guys, what is she doing? Guys, well, I've never seen this in my life. This must be some mod I have installed. Why is she doing this while she's cooking? Guys, she's not cooking, she... <laughs> All right, she's freestyling. We're just gonna cut that out and immediately just get back on with our chopping. As you can see, she's chopping very, very strongly. Oh, guys, now she's doing some, what is this one called? Squat kick, guys, I'm sick of it. She just needs to stop dancing so she can cook this salad. She's been cooking this salad for like three hours now. Marcus Flex, let's invite Marcus Flex over. He's arrived. I love how he just walks in without even asking and just barges in. He's clearly confident. Oh, we got some spiders on the wall, absolutely romantic. Let's invite him to stay the night. Now we finally have the chance to woohoo and try for a baby. So um, let's get trying for a baby with Marcus. Let's get going. Here we are, we're having our first woohoo. Let's pray to God, to the sim gods, that this will be a pregnancy one because I am so sick and tired of the last hour of trying to find a man. We better get pregnant, I swear to God. Now Marcus Flex is doing a victory dance after his woohoo. He's like, oh yeah. Eating for two, yes. Shanice is having our first child. That's child number one on the way. All right, now our relationship's a little bit better. I'm gonna ask him to be our boyfriend and pray, please, please be, please will he say yes. She's jumping for joy. Does that mean he said yes? We're just gonna fast track to marriage, I think. All right, Shanice is proposing. He's. Oh my God, did he say no? Oh my God. Guys, what on earth are we gonna do? <laughs> Shanice has learned the following traits about Marcus. He's non-committal. Apologize in bed. Guys, was that, um, was that interaction always there? Because I'm pretty sure that that wasn't there before. Do you know what, guys? Uh, I think we need to punish him. And, um, I think once a toddler is born, we're gonna have to use the Deadly Toddlers mod to, uh, punish our baby daddy. And, um, guys, I just got her to eat her garden salad, but she's doing this strange thing with her arms. She's not eating the salad, as I've told her to. Guys, what is she doing? We're in our second trimester, so not long now. Guys, I think my game is broken because she's, she's sleeping, but she's also doing some strange dance in her sleep. And my <laughs> I think we're just gonna let her sleep through it. Maybe she's just sleepwalking. I'm just gonna speed through it, brush it under the rug, pretend nothing's happening. Eventually. <gasps> Guys, it's official. Shanice Shanice has gone into labor. We are finally ready. We can just enjoy watching her getting prodded by the machine. Congratulations, it's a boy. What should we call him? Should we just call him one? Now, I know this is slightly cheating, but I am just gonna age him up straight away just because I wanna get that toddler here, just so we can play around with the deadly toddler toddler's mob because I know that's what you're all waiting for. All right, guys, so I think it's time to murder um, our father as punishment for refusing the proposal. Let's just take a look at the deadly toddler's section. Now, we've got a few different options here. Um, should we stab his neck, guts, or chest, or set him on fire? He's got pretty good pecs. He's got a nice chest, so um, let's deflate that chest. I'm just gonna try and pause it at the right moment for screenshots. We are looking very deadly right now. Oh my God. Guys, sorry, I'm ruining the moment by pausing it, but I've just got to get these screenshots for the thumbnail, I'm sorry. Just bear with me. All right, are you ready? Let's just see it all in action now. He's um doing nice things with his father. Shanice, Shanice has run away. Well, uh, there we go. <laughs> I love how he's smiling. He's absolutely loving it. He's so proud of himself. There we go. We've got our first urn. We may as well keep them in the inventory and count them when we finish how many deadly toddlers have killed our husbands. All right, the Grim Reaper's here doing some Fortnite dance as well, which is absolutely lovely. Um, I think this is a perfect time to finish here. If you liked today's video, make sure you hit the like button. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of this Let's Play. Of course, I'll only do future episodes if you want them. So if you do, make sure you let me know down in the comment section below so I know that this isn't boring. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.